You know, I couldn't believe it when the bartender told me who you are. Something I admired about your dad. He didn't believe in no-win scenarios. <laughs> sure learned his lesson. Your aptitude tests are off the charts, so what is it? You like being the only genius-level repeat offender in the Midwest? Hey, farm boy, maybe you can't count. But there are four of us and one of you. Let's get two more guys, and it'll be an even fight. So your dad dies, you can settle for a less than ordinary life. You feel like you were meant for something better. Something special. Enlist in Starfleet. Enlist? <laughs> you guys must be way down on your recruiting quota for the moment. Well, if you're half the man your father was, Jim, Starfleet could use you. You can be an officer in four years. You can have your own ship in eight. Four years? It'll be three. Space is disease and danger. Darkness and silence. Well, I hate to break this to you, but Starfleet operates in space. We've received a distress call from Vulcan. Report to Hangar 1 immediately. What's that for you, bastard? I don't know. you, Spock. Hmm? You were the one who said fear was necessary. Did you see his ship? Do you see what he did? So are you afraid of me? I will not allow you to lecture me. No, no, you stop. Congratulations, Jim. Now we've got no captain and no goddamn first officer to replace him. Yeah, we do. I like this ship! It was exciting. I would cite regulation, but I know you will simply ignore it. See? We are getting to know each other. I got a play phone and a play phone. I got to get it, baby. I can never stay long. I'm on day one. If Mr. Scott can get us to work back and forth, the magnetic distortion from the planet's rings will make us invisible to Nero sensors. Wait a minute, kid. How old are you? 17, sir. Oh, oh good. He's 17. You brought the charges, right? Oh, yeah. God, I'd like to kick some rummy in the ass. Right. Yeah. Thank you.